That's just what happened as thousands of kids, parents and teachers gathered for this Young Innovators Fair, held just outside of Philadelphia. Robots, computers, and all sorts of gadgets were there for these future futurists to get their hands on and try for themselves. You just see all this cool, fun stuff, and it just makes you think, I want to do this when I'm old. I want to do this. So it inspires you to do all kinds of cool science things and be a great engineer. Scientists, engineers, and robot makers attended the fair. Their aim? To answer questions from kids who may be considering careers in science and technology. To let them know about jobs that take brains and are anything but boring. But this is an educational event, but it's an educational event that kids don't realize that they're learning. It's fun. And I think, also, I think that's what's different about when you go to school when you're in a classroom, that here, it's not that you're sitting at a desk and learning. It's, this is fun learning. Some of these kids are in high school. Others are barely out of kindergarten. But curiosity knows no boundaries. Young and old alike agree. It's never too early to get started on a possible career. My search says education matters because it is extremely important. And we want to have fun with experiments and we just want everybody to have fun while they're learning. This is part of a nationwide effort to push STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math for this generation of school students. Event producer Gabe Young, who used a bit of low tech to cover as much ground as possible, says kids can learn as much outside the classroom as they can inside one. We want kids to roll up their sleeves, dig in to discover, play, and really learn without even knowing that they're learning. And I mean, that's what's really happened when you look here today, you watch all these amazing kids with their eyes, you know, wide open. Many of them walk in with jitters. I mean, it's an amazing feeling knowing that we were able to pull this off and inspire many of these kids. Two, one. Every day, the world becomes a more technological place. And some of these kids are determined to be the ones inventing things that could have an impact on the future. College student Tori Griffiths plans to be an engineer and wants more of her female classmates to come along for the ride. It's a common misconception is that only guys are engineers. And so by showing them here that there's a whole bunch of women here, there's a whole bunch of girls who are doing just as well as the guys are, there's a woman who's or who is organizing this event, it's giving them the understanding that I am what an engineer looks like. I don't need to look like a nerdy guy behind a computer. Like This is what an engineer looks like. We are engineers and you can be one too. While this event is designed to be fun, it's not all fun and games. High school student Tom Barnett is part of a team solving some serious problems. One of the kids at my school was born without a hand, and so his mother came to our teacher, and we were pretty much just told, see what you can do and try and make him a hand. The result? A working prosthetic hand, controlled by brain power, and developed by teenagers. Your brain will send tiny electrical signals to your muscles, and those tiny signals will basically tell your muscles to clench. But we can also read those signals so that when your muscles clench in, these sensors will basically read that, and then we can use those readings to control the hat. Not bad for a group of high school students. And that's why the adults in the room, parents and teachers, are thrilled with events like this that foster their kids' love of technology. The reason I brought my kids here is they definitely have an aptitude for the sciences, um, and this was a chance for them to really explore a little bit more. This is a chance for them to have a whole new world open up to them and explore some other different options that they might you know, be interested into. I think it's a good idea for the children to get elbowed into it because it gives them a sense of, um, uh, like again, exposure and a sense of feel. Because I think learning uh, offers a lot, seeing, feeling, smelling. There are all sorts of new teaching tools coming online. This was a top hit at the Young Innovators Fair. It's called an augmented reality sandbox. And while it seems like a toy, it's actually a sophisticated piece of technology. At the Young Innovators Fair, crowds of kids and adults couldn't seem to get enough of this unusual piece of education tech. I saw it and just thought, wow, that's the coolest thing ever. I could really use this in my classroom. 
Coming up, I get hands-on with this sandbox of the future. As a kid, I invested days at the beach playing with water and sand and really learning physics. This brings it into the digital age.